one of the things I didn't think about when I bought my wallpaper was that the pattern could be really limited, even though it shows it really wide, like on the pictures. When you actually put it up in a small space, you have to be able to align the left side with the right side perfectly because the pattern actually goes left to right, not up to down. So one of the things I did was I measured using this template, the top and the bottom. So this is actually the bottom part of it. And um, what you'll notice is, or actually this is, yeah. So what you'll notice is I actually drew so I could line up exactly where this would be. And then I mark the bottom and I cut along the bottom. And then all I have to do is flip this and I've got my top. So as I measure up, I got this really poorly drawn leaf right there. And then I marked the top. And what I ended up doing was just memorizing that I needed the top of that. Um, and then I flip it over, cut it, and I put it on the wall. Because of the template, I now have a seamless left to right cut. So now it actually matches the way it should all the way across. Now, let me show you something. I actually ran out of space here and the space to do the next one wouldn't really have made it feel like it was part of what was about to happen. So what I did was I took an end piece on another one and I decoupaged and so without the, without the glue. For those of you who aren't sure what I'm talking about, I basically cut out the background and so this is a top layer that extends over the back layer, top layer over. And so what you have is layers of leaves on top of each other that are not uh, perfect. Okay, let me show you. See this little guy here? I ended up trimming him. And now he's put on top. So you actually have, you can see a slight line back there, but honestly, it looks so pretty that I don't care. And I accept it. 100%. I'm almost done. All I have left is this one last section here and I am done. I'm so excited.